Welcome to Nerdsmithing. This channel is for adults and adult collectibles. Please, no one under the age of 13. Now let's get into some unboxings. That's right, welcome all my fellow nerds and geeks. So I've got a little bit of Target Con stuff, uh, some other random HQ pickups. So uh, I actually, Ordered my Target Con stuff online because I was working, so I wasn't able. I had it, yes, like I ordered it on Friday, like first thing when it went live. I had it Saturday in the morning. Like it was super fast. It was all packed really well. I mean, I only got three things, and the box was, it was huge, huge box. Um, everything was packed. It was in bubble wrap. It was secured. So let's just go ahead and get right into that first. So you guys know that I am into the 10 inch pops, so I absolutely had to get the 10 inch Kool-Aid Man. So, and like I said, this thing was a box within a box. I got the big box, Every all three items were packaged inside the box, and they all had bubble wrap around them. Um, so everything about this is perfect. Um, I am going to pop this out though, because I do want to see, I have the little one. And I was actually wondering if they were gonna do different colors. You know, they could do, this is one of those ones they could do ridiculous amounts of colors. But um, according to what I've heard, they're only allowing them to do the red because that is actually their mascot is red. And even though there is a million different colors of Kool-Aid, he is their only, their only actual mascot. So <clears throat> he's even got a handle you can hold. So, um, I mean, it feels kind of secure. I don't know that I'd trust holding it a lot, but there you go. You've got a giant pitcher of Kool-Aid with ice and everything. So um, this is really, really cool. Uh, they did a great job on it, so I like it. But it is definitely a, a big one. Crap, I forgot I've got my pin still sitting over here. We'll just set it on top. I'm not gonna stand very well on the pins. Stands okay. So then moving right along, uh, when I was a lot younger, I used to love watching, or I mean not watching, I didn't really watch the cartoon that they had. I did love the book with all of the, um, the little, what is it, Sunday morning cartoon when they used to do like that kind of stuff. They had the, the Garfield books. I used to love getting those from the library when I was in junior high. So um, I knew when I saw that they had a flocked, uh, Garfield, I had to get it. I'm always leery about getting these things that are inside the boxes like this because you just never know how they're gonna come. This, yet again, I mean, the way they packaged this was there was a ton of bubble wrap around it. I mean, there was probably, like, the box is that thin. It was probably all the way around about that thick with bubble wrap just all the way around it. So they did an amazing job wrapping it, so. Um, I was just shocked it came so fast, to be honest. It came ridiculously quick. So this is the shirt that we got with it. And I am a, I've always been a big fan of these, uh, I don't know even know what they call them, but with the, the multicolor, so it's got like the, the collars and the sleeve have the, the other stuff. So this is really cool to get one like that. It actually is a pretty thick shirt too. And I will probably wear this because I love, I do love Garfield, so. And getting in here, I do have the, um, it looks like the box is pretty much perfect. And I do have the, uh, the, oh, what is it? The pop-up shop exclusive of him where he's holding the coffee cup that says I hate Mondays. I do have that one. I did not get the common one because I figured if they're gonna come out with a flocked one, I'll get the flocked version. And um, same with Odie, I never got Odie. He never was really my favorite anyways, so. Um, but let's take a look at this flocked. So it is not bad. We've got a couple spots that I mean, for the most part, the flock looks pretty good. There is a spot right here. You can kind of see that spot on his ear where it looks like they didn't get the flocking on there. So, um, and then there's a little spot on his little upper part here. 
and the, the but other than that everything else looks really good um, flocking is always I mean I love it's one of my favorite uh, exclusives or favorite variants but it is really hit and miss um, but for the most part this looks really really good so just a couple little spots and then moving right along with more of the Target Con. This was apparently the popular one. I got it right on the website right away. Snagged it up pretty quick. It is Chester the Cheetah. Yet again, comes with a t-shirt. I wanted the pop because the pop glows and I have seen pictures of the glow and it looks pretty cool. I haven't seen it in person yet. So as I always do, I'll get this thing out of here. I will show you guys the pop and you will see the glow next to it. I, I've got so many t-shirts. I really was not hoping to get a bunch more shirts, but sometimes you gotta get the shirt if you wanna get the pop. So let's see. I do like that this is a darker gray shirt though. So um, So there we go, we've got Chester Cheetah. It is a very bright shirt. It'd be really cool if the shirt glowed too, but I don't think they've done anything like that before. So then let's get into the pop. This one, the pop was actually, the shirt was sitting on top of the pop, so I'm hoping that we've got, yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it does, it, where the pop, where the shirt was sitting on top of the pop, it is pushed in a little bit, but it's not bad at all. Um, I actually have not bought any of the Chester Cheetah pops. Um, just because I was kind of waiting because there's been rumors that there's going to be a flocked one. So I've been kind of waiting for that. And, um, this one is actually a clamshell. And I can tell by looking at it right, in, right away that it is actually molded in the glow plastic, which means the glow will probably be pretty freaking cool. So, I mean, everybody has seen the Chester Cheetah. He's been out for a while. There's nothing new about this mold. It is just glow in the dark. So let's see what that glow looks like. Um, I'm assuming it's pretty good because like I said, I've seen pictures of it and it does look pretty freaking cool. So, um, that is that. So that is pretty much all I got for Target Con this year, uh, or this, I don't know how often they do it, but this, it's pretty much all that I've gotten um, from Target Con. I did pick up a few other things though. Um, this is something I have, I've had for a while, um, but they, so mine got broken. I have these out on display and it, uh, we had an earthquake here quite a few months ago and it fell off and a piece broke. So I was super happy to see it because it's kind of a harder one to find. And that is the um, Venomized Loki. So this was a Target exclusive. This one's got the European exclusive sticker on it. The thing that broke on mine is the back of his staff, that little gold piece right there. When the earthquake happened, he fell off. He's very top heavy. So I have like some little putty stuff that holds him and he actually fell off of the shelf and that little piece broke off and I tried to glue it back on but when I glued it back on it like whitened the stuff so I needed a new one I was really happy I didn't think I'd ever get a new one because those are kind of hard to find um, but so I'm actually gonna use the broken one and put it on my desk at work probably so <laughs> and then I got this at Funko HQ which I was not able to find this at Target this is the future or future I don't know exactly how to say his name but this is the Boba Fett they come in the the hard stackers um another one that i was not able to find at at uh target so actually to be honest when it first came out this is gonna be really crinkly i'm sorry when it first came out i was not super uh I, I just wasn't really into it i've got so many star wars pops and there's so many different versions of everything that i really didn't think i was going to get it and then when i finally saw it in person i was like that's actually a lot cooler looking than I thought it was gonna be. Um, so I was looking around trying to find one. So here it is actually out of that stacker. Um, but this is another one that it's been out for a while. Everybody has seen it. Uh, I do have the the Darth Vader version. I know they're coming out with some other stuff like C-3PO and R2-D2 and I think there's one more. But um, I just thought the paint job looks super, super cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out of here and actually look at it. 
So you've got the little Mandalorian logo in the background there. So, and if you haven't seen the Mandalorian show, check it out because that show is awesome. So, I mean, pretty common mold for for the uh, Boba Fett, but it's just the paint job is so freaking cool. Um, I would say my favorite Boba Fett pop though is the one where he's actually taking off and he's in flight. That is a really cool one. I think it came out of the, uh, the, um, oh, what was it? Uh, the collectors, uh, the, uh, Star Wars Bounty. I forget what it's called now. So moving right along, they had a release the other day of a bunch of Pez on Friday. So I was in a meeting at work and I wasn't able to get the ones online that I wanted to get. So, and they were limited to 1500. So I actually did not think I was going to be able to get them. I went to Funko HQ. When I walked in, they only had one left on their little cart and it was the uh, Chuckles. And so I was like, well, I guess I'll get Chuckles and I'll just, you know, maybe eventually get the other two. I didn't want all of the Pez that dropped. I'm, I'm not, I don't have a lot of the Hanna-Barbera stuff, but I did, I wanted the Toy Story ones. So I got the Chuckles and I was walking around and I realized they had on the actual shelf in the back, they had the rest of them. So I was able to get uh, Zerg and Lotso. And yeah, super excited for these 1500 pieces. They did only had a couple full sets left. I was able to grab one of them. So I am pretty happy to have the full set of the Toy Story Pez that they released in the 1500 pieces. So Lotso, they have a lot of really cool Lotso Pops, the flocked one, the, there's like a metallic one, they are all super high end expensive. So uh, I think that is it for this episode. Um, I did pick up a shirt. I know I've got a ton of shirts, but I don't have any Venom shirts. So I picked up a Venom shirt at HQ. I, need, I wanted actually a Venom shirt that I could wear. So that is it for this episode. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, you can follow me on Instagram at NerdSmithing, and as always, don't forget to stay awesome, people.